Spiritual Teaching 264 Love Each Other 1. Beloved people, in you I discover the fighting spirit that wants to adhere to my law, that tries to be inspired by my word and leave a mark of light on the path of humanity. 2. For this people to multiply as Israel multiplied in Egypt and for other peoples to adhere to it, you need to give proof of true obedience to my law. I come to encourage you to continue on your spiritual journey that I have entrusted to you as a mission. From what I tell you, it is not difficult for anyone who has let my word penetrate into your heart and has analyzed and understood it. 3. I do not ask for all your time to carry out this mission. It is enough for me that you dedicate a few minutes of the day to study my word, that you do a good deed or that you in some way step forward on the spiritual path. 4. You are like a mirror to which my charity and my love would like to show, but it is clouded and does not let light and truth reflect. Clean it and you will see my spirit reflected in yours. 5. When from the bottom of your heart you say to me, Master, I am your servant, I am ready to obey your will, that will be the moment when I truly begin to manifest myself in you. 6. Today, despite your good will, your heart is still sleeping for my love, and it is necessary to understand that your fulfillment must be inspired by love. The disciple who gets up moved by that force will be an apostle in his life. He will be capable of great works, because he will fear nothing, nothing will weaken him. 7. If you are going to speak of peace, bring peace in your heart. If you are going to talk about me and my work, get to know me first so that you never distort the truth. Do not go to believe that you are its only possessors, because you would sin of ignorance and fanaticism. I want that at the same time that you preach with teachings that contain truth, you know how to find the truth in your brothers. Some will have a lot of light, others only an atom, but in all of them you will find my presence, because you are all my children. 8. Give thanks to your Father and rejoice, because you have attended the time of restoration, rejoice tomorrow, when already in the spiritual world you contemplate the fruit of your works on earth. Yes, disciples. This valley of tears and atonement will become a land of peace and spiritual progress. 9. Until now mankind has not built the true temple to love its Lord. Many kinds of worship he has raised, many rites he has established and many religions he has founded. But that temple of the Spirit, whose foundations are unshakable, he has not raised it until now. 10. When that sanctuary is built on the immovable and eternal stone of love, truth and justice, all your differences of creeds will vanish and you will see your wars disappear. 11. Only in my truth can you discover your brotherhood, but if you are distant from it, you will have to forget even that you are brothers. 12. You, my spiritualist people, you will have as a mission to fraternize with everyone, to teach with examples my maxims of love. 13. You still do not know how you are going to work, nor do you know how far the strength of your spirit will go. But I do know and I say, do not fear, trust in me, my light will show you the gap and my voice will mark the moment for you to start your journey. 14. Your spirit has already heard me and awakened, therefore it will never let you sleep. He longs to rise through pure feelings, because he senses my love in his destiny. Let him fulfill, give him freedom for his mission and do not ignore his. Voice when he makes you feel like that hour belongs to him for some elevated work. 15. Those who from now on dedicate themselves to the study of my revelations, those who wake up meditating on my word, will be those who find the path more passable and the cross lighter. The word will flow from his lips like a torrent and the bomb will be miraculous in your spiritual hands. 16. Blessed are those who listen to me and take advantage of my teaching, because they will have much satisfaction, joys and triumphs in their spirit. 17. Good disciples will have to be humble and their works of charity will be what tells who they are. Not as some of my toddlers who, without yet having a notion of what a position in my work means, are showing off to be one of my chosen ones and they would like the world to contemplate on their forehead the sign of my mark. 18. This awake and intuitive humanity will soon discover those who preach truthfully and those who only pretend it. 19. If I have spoken to all of you, 
The proof is that I want you all to have the light. 20. Your responsibility is not limited to showing the way. Know that in your path you cross the workers straying from the path, then you will have to advise them to make them return to the fold. 21. All watch over what I have entrusted to you. Walk with humility and prudence and you will triumph. If you drain the cup of bitterness, do it patiently and it will soon pass. 22. If you present or know that judgment is already in you and that the hour of great trials has arrived, raise your spirit, increase your faith and strengthen your heart. 23. If up to now you have felt like exiles, if you feel far from the homeland or absent from the paternal home, don't fear. Your merits will take you to the country for which your spirit has yearned and, on the other hand, your works will have brought the time of peace on earth closer, when you love your heavenly Father, loving and forgiving your brothers. 24. You cannot imagine the joy of the spirit that has come forward in this life of trials and reaches the presence of its master. In the sublime spiritual language he says to his father, I conquered, Lord, I conquered by the light that you gave to my spirit, by the love that you revealed to me. Very great were my trials, very strong the storms that hit me, but with your power I triumphed in everything and here I am before you. 25. That flame of love was lit by trials, because if the life of the spirit lacked lessons, it would leave asleep in him all his powers. 26. I see sadness in many of my disciples, because you feel that my call will not be long and that when I leave this earth, your spirit did not have the happiness to contemplate it in peace. I also tell you, do not be afraid, your spirit will enjoy from the spiritual kingdom where he came from, when he sees peacetime coming to this world. 27. The time is coming when my word of life will flourish in the heart of humanity, when you will see fulfilled day by day my word, and if by then you no longer belong to this earth, from the spiritual abode you will look at everything and you will testify with absolute clarity and understanding. 28. Quench your thirst for knowledge and you will marvel at each step in the journey of your life and if your cross were heavy, you will learn to make the days short and bearable. 29. Rise up in virtue as disciples so that my teaching may descend to your spirit and in it you will find all the strength you need to conquer in temptations and trials. 30. I have already gathered in my barn the first fruits of your fulfillment as sours of my field and with my word I have encouraged you to keep spreading the seed. Do not lose heart if some hearts do not respond soon to your message. Know that, just as there are spirits about to awaken, there are also spirits that will be late. 31. I already contemplate the great crowds arriving at the source of grace that is my doctrine, to wash their stains, to put off your impure garments and put on my light. 32. Who of those who have listened to my word at this time, ignores that at the end of the year 1950 I will stop this way of communication? No one. The same in large as in small congregations, in the precincts of the cities and in the villages. Through all the spokespersons, I have expressed my willingness to terminate this date, this stage of communication through human understanding. 33. A new day will be for the spiritualist people the time when, not listening to me in this way, they receive me and feel in the most sublime of your spirit. 34. When you stop listening to me through the speaker, you will meditate deeply on my teaching and come to understand many of the lessons that now you will not be able to explain yourself, so when you are questioned by those who have not listened, when they ask you why my coming and my manifestation, you, with a clear word, will know to tell them that my return was due to the same cause that made me come to the world as a man at that time, to set yourselves on the path of truth, of the law, from which you had strayed, because you were trying to substitute the true compliance with idolatrous traditions, rites and cults, and that is not the truth, although sometimes it carries the good intention to adore the Father and to please Him. 35. If at that time false interpretations had been given to the divine commands, in this also my doctrine, and it was necessary for the Master to come again to help you out of your errors, since for yourselves very few are those who manage to free themselves from confusion. 36. Certainly I promised you from that time that I would return. But I must also tell you that I did it because I knew that a day would come when humanity, believing to live within the path of my teachings, would walk very far from them and this is the time that I announced for my return. 
37. I have kept my word. I have come in spirit, just as I promised you at that time, when it was the last time contemplated my silhouette by my apostles. If I have communicated through these spokespersons, it has been because my presence in spirit you could not have felt it, nor would you have caught my inspiration. 38. My manifestation was necessary within the reach of your spirit and even of your senses, which would serve as a step for communication from spirit to spirit. That is why you have had me temporarily communicated through these understandings, by which I have appointed the day of my last manifestation. 39. This has been the intermediate form chosen by me to speak to you, before the time of spiritual communication between the children and the Father had come. Intermediate because, neither did I come as a man, visible and tangible as at that time, nor absolutely in means of understandings enlightened by me. 40. This form of communication has served to instill confidence in my presence. Something similar I granted to my apostles in the second era, when after my sacrifice, I manifested myself before them through the form of a body that was neither divine nor fully human, but visible and tangible, and therefore capable of instilling confidence even the most incredulous. 41. How you would have liked to have my presence at this time as those walkers from Emmaus had, and you would have liked to hear through that form the word that the apostles heard, but it was another time and so much other lessons. 42. Believe me that this way you listen to me now is more advanced than that, because it is verified in your being, springs from the understanding, from the consciousness, from the spirit, and that which my disciples contemplated and heard was outside of them and only manifested itself to their senses. 43. Today you do not need to open your eyes to contemplate the human form in me, nor to receive bread from my hand to believe in my presence, or sink your fingers into my wounds to believe that it is me. 44. You ask, how did they contemplate my human form and could one of my disciples still touch me, no longer belonging to the world of men? You will still have much to learn from your master to know the truth of how much I have shown, but all mysteries will fade in due course, that it is enough for you to know. For now that nature enters divine nature and the nature of man, there are many others of which the Lord uses for his high ends. 45. Christ was far ahead of time with his revelations and teachings, so that when the times came when the man will awaken to the spiritual and will be interested in everything related to that higher life, at every step find in Christ the Master who revealed everything, said it and bequeathed it to his children. 46. Pray and meditate on my word, because the days of work and struggle are coming for this people who had this manifestation of his Master, of which he will have to bear witness throughout the world. 47. People of Israel, beloved disciple, you have prepared yourselves as guardians of humanity. You guard the gates of the blessed city of the new Jerusalem, the twelve spiritual gates through which the stranger will enter in search of light. 48. Blessed are the twelve tribes. How many blessings have you received? How many privileges? I have descended to you in all the times to talk from spirit to spirit. I have asked you about your eagerness and you have answered me, our desire is that humanity be saved. You consider that you are safe, that you will be able to overcome the vicissitudes of life and you look around your impoverished, ignorant and materialized humanity, which does not aspire to rise and you suffer for it. You pray, asking me to come to possess the spiritual gifts to be saved. And I tell you, I will save all spirits. The good news will come to them. Only a small number have listened to my word through human understanding. Not everyone will know this phase of my work, but I am looking for spiritual communication in each being. My word spills out in multiple ways, through the awareness, by tests that speak of me, by the elements or by my spiritual children. My word is universal. All then, get ready and you will hear my voice. 49. My doctrine teaches you perfect love, selfless love. I have shown you my love as a father, as a friend and as a brother. This is how I want you to love one another, that you feel for your brother true charity, that you raise up the one who falls that you always forgive. My life that was so close to you in the second era is an example so that each one can imitate me. That lesson I gave you is for men of all time. 50. 
Give back to your spirit all the grace that has been clothed in the beginning and that you have left in tatters in the beginning. I walk through the ages. I want you to become the temple where I can dwell eternally. 51. O oh, beloved Israel, go to the aid of humanity, prepare her path, fortify her faith, fill her heart with hope. How can you return to the road to that world full of confusions, if he saw in you his own mistakes and blemishes? You toddlers talk intimately with yourself, examine yourselves, govern with love the body that I have given, guide his steps and form spirit and flesh, one body and one will. Submit to the law. Use free will to love without limit and make a useful and harmonious existence. Comply with the laws of the spirit and those of the world. I have dictated both and they are perfect. 52. I, the Father, have always looked at you with benevolence and have prepared and arranged everything so that you come to possess all spiritual gifts. I have offered to your spirit the bread of angels and to your matter the fruits of nature, created by me. You have had the opportunity to come to earth to conclude the work begun to perfect your spirit. And in all this, do you not discover my love? Have you not penetrated yourselves to see that you are similar to me? I have given everything to you because I love you and I want you to be with me. In perfection. 53. Reject sin. Do not be seduced by false promises. Even if you see that they are pleasing to your heart, these earthly pleasures. While my path is strewn with thorns, take this path, for this is the one that leads to peace. I have a balm for each wound, while the world has neither love nor charity for you. 54. Humanity prepares a cross for me. His lack of faith hurts my divine spirit at every moment, but I will hide under the cloak of forgiveness all my wounds and I will silence my complaints so that you do not cower. 55. Watch at the foot of the cross of the third era. My chalice is very bitter. You will ask me for a drop of that chalice to know its flavor and from now on I tell you. If your life is already very painful, if you are living a life of atonement, more well, sweeten your days, smile with love, enjoy contemplating my revelations that announce that after this time will come peace, that everything will be renewed and grace and virtue will be the forces that will move man. 56. I am preparing all nations, all homes and hearts to send my message of peace and unity and after the last battle that humanity will fight, my kingdom will approach the spirit of men to establish itself eternally in it. I leave you as fighters of good against evil, so that you destroy every element of war, every germ of vice or disease. Accompany humanity in this instance and display all your love to ease your sorrows. 57. During this time I have given my word through many spokespersons, it has always been expressed with the same essence, its meaning is the same. I have used men and women, rough, simple, that I have taken as instruments to deliver my life-giving, loving and wise word. After my departure, when you have gathered my teachings and analyzed each of my inspirations, you will distinguish what is perfect and you will separate the imperfect. Do not attribute the part that corresponds to the spokesperson to the master. I will enlighten you so that you unite in a single book, the three parts that I have given in the three times and that form a single work. Therefore, to every moment I speak to you of Moses, the envoy of the first era, I fan the memory of Jesus and his deeds, and won to them my manifestation of the third era, as the Holy Spirit. 58. As long as you are at peace and united, O disciples, I will give you my revelations. May your face reflect the spirit full of sincerity. I will leave you in possession of all your gifts and from the hereafter. I will follow your steps. I will look at your acts because I will be very close in the temple and in the home of your heart. 59. I contemplate that you push the children away because you think they do not understand my word and you do not remember that I told you that inside those little bodies, live great spirits who know a lot about the Father. Do not want to close their pupils for the light of this work when they are anxious to feel the fulfillment of the prophecies. Your work will be ratified by them. This world will not stop in its evolution towards spirituality. In different ages I call you because the spirit has no age or sex, its essence is eternal, it is similar to my spirit. Recreate with the light of those spirits and watch over their fulfillment. 
from their first steps. 60. Your prayer on this day is an invocation of peace for the world. I become your messenger. For each good deed I will pour out benefits. For each your forgiveness, I will forgive a nation. Your seed will be multiplied for me in eternity. My peace be with you.